content over everything. Palestine um, movement, I've studied it, I know about it. So that's what Hajjali was about, and that's why the Shia community is here. That's why we've got a channel called Al Bayt al Badi. Al Bayt al Badi. Our BMA is called the Pledge of Allegiance, Bayat. Ali Kihad be Bayat. So we, we promote that movement. Um, so yeah, that's what we're here for, man. So I was just saying to the sister as well that it would be good if throughout the year if some Sikhs were to come in the park and have some representation. But it's very good because Speaker's Corner has become that venue yes, yes, where the whole world comes there now. This one we do every year. But, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But, um, but, 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 yeah, 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 and, 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 and it helps. And the, the best thing about, like you were saying about, oh yeah, you lot, you lot yeah, go, yeah, because you lot starting the movement, aren't it? In front no, of the yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's really nice speaking to you lot. If you've got, if you've got people who are in, that's what I'm going to do together. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to do you another thing. Let's go. 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 Let's Yes, today, today's a seat day. Yeah. One second. What's the celebration, do you know? No, it's a protest. Oh, it's a protest? Yes, the Indian government. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye, hello. hello. What, uh, <laughs> what, did the Indian government occupy some kind of land or something? I think, um, Historically, I think they tried to attack the Golden Temple before uh, some persecution by right. Kirby, and they yeah, haven't apologized yeah. up to now. Auntie Morris, you can Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you doing? All right? Cool, bro. Do you know why we're doing this? I've, I've heard briefly. I don't mind if you... Yeah. Um, do you want me to explain a bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you do it on um, the camera? Oh, you want me to do it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. If you want me to do it. Yeah. Are you going to follow us to the... To, to the... I'm not going to. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, we can do it now. It's going to go into this morning. Good afternoon. As you can see, we're doing the Remembrance March Rally of the 1984. It's a Remembrance Rally. It's uh, uh, for in the, what happened in the 1984. And today is the day when the Indian Army actually attacked the holiest shrine for the Sikhs. Call it Darbar Sahib, normally people known as, as a Golden Temple. What really happened was when the 1947 India and Pakistan was separated, we were being promised that you will have the federal rights within the India. So Punjab, which was never been part of the India, they were being submerged into the India as a, as a part of the India. But straight away, Sikhs started feeling that Punjab has been suppressed. Their water, their language has been suppressed. Their water was being given to the other states. 70% of the water of the Punjab was being given to the other states without actually giving any, any sort of uh, concession or any money to the Punjab. So the farmers of the Punjab were suffering. The, the, the people were suffering, their language, and Sikhs were actually categorized as a part of the Hindu religion. And that was a very big, uh, a big smackdown for the Sikhs as well. So they start protesting. Uh, they were protesting peacefully. Near about 100,000 Sikhs actually gave a peaceful protest in, in the, in the lead up, which lead up to the 1984. So the Indian government, what they actually thought, our Sikhs are actually rising up. So they sent in their army and the timing of the attack in the 1984 was very crucial because June is the month when our fifth guru was beheaded and, and at that time Sikhs normally gather around all over the world. They come around in the June so they said alright let's send in the army and the timing, of, the timing of the attack was very crucial. But the Sikhs inside the Golden Temple there was only 130 Sikhs those who were armed up they say if you come in if you attack we're going to fight back because we've done the peaceful protest and when all the means have failed it is right to pick up the sword. So when the army actually, they came in with their tanks, they came in 25,000 army people inside, they bought their helicopters, and even until today, they don't show us how many actually people were killed. Because when the Indian army found that there was only 130 Sikhs inside there, they feel it's going to be very embarrassment if we tell the rest of the world that, okay, there was only 130 Sikhs inside, and we used all of our fifth largest army to suppress those Sikhs. So what they start doing, they start killing the, actually, the innocent pilgrims, those who came there to pay their respect and they start killing the children as well. So even that was not enough for them. So what they done, they burned down our reference library. We had the sroop of Guru Granth Sahib, handwritten sroops. They burned down that as well. Even today's day, 34 years, we haven't been delivered any justice. We stop asking any more justice. It's been 34 years. Justice delayed is justice denied. So what we're doing is we're exposing the atrocities of the Indian government against the minorities like Muslims, the Dalits, the Sikhs. They're rising us. Sikhs have exposed India 34 years ago. What Sikhs, what 
India is not federal anymore. They're not giving equal rights to anyone. So now all the minorities actually rising up as the Indian government. <laughs> so what we're doing now here, as you can see, thousands of people gathered together. They're showing the solidarity that we together, we're going to unite together as a one big community against the authorities against the Indian government. Thank you very much. We lost our kingdom 1848. British took over. We want fail to gain again. We want to regain. We want to capture sick rule again in India. We got a own state, Punjab, from Kabul to Delhi, but we lost our leader, failed. They have a Indian government, Indian Hindu promise to the Sikh, they can have a own state, but unfortunately, they took over our rule, and we now we are fighting to deny, to aware to all Sikh, we, want, we got a kingdom, we, we want again, India quit Khalistan. Why Guruji ka khalsa? Why Guruji ki fatih? Get it out there, bro. Get it out there. Big thing, big thing. They're, they've been oppressed, bro. They've been oppressed for a long time. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come I've studied them, man, trust me. Yeah, I've studied them. In the Indo-Pak religions, innit? You study them. You understand that. Ethnically, I'm Pakistan. Ethnically, the vast majority of people in Pakistan are Punjabi. Ethnically. So what separates us and them is our religion. Our ethnics, the culture is the same. We wear the same clothes, we speak the same language, everything. You know what I'm saying? So we understand that. They've been oppressed by the Hindu government a lot. And they haven't had no, no one's really done, they're just, they're, they're, in the army, the thing is, these are the swingers, they don't want to fight. But that's why we always say to these lot, why do you go and fight for them? Remember, when it's not in the upper class, we're like, well, you say this, but you're, the, the biggest statistics of the Indian army is made up of seeds. So I'm like, oh, they oppress you, then you fight against us. They have a lot of temples in Pakistan, they cross the border, black men, they cross the border, and they have a state. They can't swing, they can't swing. So if there's such an issue, between Pakistanis and Indians, they have the same practice to Pakistan. Nothing happens to them. Yeah, yeah. The way they make it out, yeah, it's not a thing. That's it's not a thing. Hundred percent. Oh, were well, you the guy that spoke to the guy who spoke? You was it? Um, that white guy about um, Tony Robinson and his hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. All right, big man. I was like that, bro. You got him nice. You got him nice. I, I, I watched it. You, you, tech, you, got, you got him on technical points, so you got to really go that way. You got him technically. You got him technically. They don't I like the statistics. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come take over everything. Come take over everything. From your government. Yeah. Come, man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Black. They will have that discussion. Like, we have the biggest problem with stabbing in London. We discussed it. Yeah, yeah. If I start telling you, if I start telling you, if I start telling you, oh, the blacks need to do more, the black, you're going to feel like, bro, you don't need to. Like, I already know the problems of my own. By me doing that, you're going to say, bro, now you know, no, I'm not going to do what? Because now you're putting me in the corner. Don't do that to the community. Let them deal with the issue. Let them deal with the issue. That's the thing. No one calls the white British public the fact that they are the highest perpetrators when it comes to child pornography. No one will say that. No one will say that. And let's be honest,